Alright everybody, this is Blogsmith Jim again, giving you another stock tip. But I failed to announce in the last video on Kush bottles to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you dislike it, thumbs down, I'll find you. No, you can do that too. But anyway, we are getting to the next one, HMNY, Helios and Matheson, which is also known as Movie Pass or the owners of Movie Pass, so they're kind of one and the same at the moment because there's no IPO for Movie Pass itself. So today we had some news come from the CEO himself, Mitch Lowe of Movie Pass, who, by the way, if you guys didn't know already, he was one of the founders of Netflix, a uh, very disruptive technology, social media platform, whatever you want to call it, entertainment platform, which uh, got everybody to unplug, myself included. So he said on his interview today on CNBC that there would be a $2 kickback for MoviePass from some studios, uh, certain studios that he did not say in particular, but they were going to be giving MoviePass $2 as a rebate per ticket that was spent on their uh, on their movies that were produced by those studios, so that's that's huge news. And uh, you know, movies and theaters they make they make huge profits. So this uh, this fits the model. I mean, you go to the movies and you you buy popcorn, and I think popcorn has the largest markup in the history of products. It's like you know, costs uh, seven dollars for a bucket, and it probably cost them about fifteen cents. So you do the math on that and the percentage of the markup. But that being said, uh, the the interviewer asked, "Oh, is this is this a gym membership model where you know you you pay for the service and you never go? And are you counting on people to never go?" Which I thought was a lame question, by the way, because she was just trying to prod at them, but. That's my own opinion. But uh, but it, it really isn't, and that's what Mitch said. He said he wants people to go to the movies. He he wants them to go. He said suggested at least one time per month, and uh, if it stays at once per month, then MoviePass is going to at least break even, if not profit, just from, from that, because $10 a movie and the nationwide average is below that. I think it's about $8.60. So you'd be a fool to just go once a month if you're getting a, a movie pass subscription. So most likely people are going at least twice or or even five times, probably between two and five times a month, which is gonna set them back a little bit. So they need to supplement their income from somewhere else. So that's where this rebate comes in at two dollars per per ticket on select uh, movie studios that produce these movies. So that's kind of the tip of the iceberg as far as I'm concerned because they're the first to to do something like this with a cash back kind of rebate, but I'm pretty certain that they're not going to be the last. And so, this is kind of um, once the ball gets rolling, I think more companies are going to do stuff like this, and that's really what what Mr. Lowe, Mitch was uh, was banking on. So, and then you have HMNY, who is an analytics group who's really been doing crunching the numbers and studying all this kind of consumer behavior. So. They're not coming into it blindly either, but as far as the price to price of the stock, it was up 6.81 percent to eight dollars and sixteen cents, down one percent after hours. But uh, I didn't check in the last 15 minutes, so it could have been could have been even or unchanged in the after hours. I doubt it would go farther down. It might go up a little bit, but probably around the same. But um, the investors for this for this company are very stubborn. Uh, I can judge that by what I've read, and for instance, the Yahoo message board, which is not a complete indicator of how everybody think what everybody thinks about the stock, but it is this little bit of slice, little slice of the pie. So you know you, you can't completely extrapolate what people are saying, but you can see that there's plenty of haters on HMNY, but you know there are a lot of people like myself 
that think that they actually have a good business model. And yes, I am recommending HMNY. I think right now is probably a good time to buy. No rhyme intended, but you know, it happens. <laughs> um, and actually, I, I'd like to take a second to compare the news that came out today versus what's happened the last couple weeks because you'd see something good come out and even another interview on TV and then the stock would go down and it's like wait a minute don't we have good news can we can we keep going up but uh, that's not the case but this is different from the others because with the others they mentioned crypto everybody was on the crypto bandwagon and they said they've been developing something crypto some kind of coin maybe an ICO no, no details on that for for a year so that's gonna you know that's the magic word right now cryptocurrency even though as I'll show you in my other video that's coming up that uh, Bitcoin is not infallible now but um, people seem to like the like the magic word and so the previous news was crypto and then there was also when they announced 1.5 million subscribers that was great too it wasn't huge news because I think we already people close to the stock kind of knew that it was coming but uh, the difference between what, a couple differences between what happened today with the kickback, with the rebate, and with the previous, um, you know, good news is that one, there was no negative news on the same day, and two, I think that this is actually the beginning of something good. This is not just a, a PR move because if they're saying they're getting two dollars back from from these studios. They're going to have to prove that. They're going to have to show it. So that's not just all blowing smoke. So anyway, uh, like I said, predictions, I think it's going to go up. I'm going to say smaller dips than it's been because you have seen it very volatile in the last couple months, actually. You know, it went all the way back up to $38, and then it went all the way down to like $5. So um, my prediction is there's going to be smaller dips. On the way to $15, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, I can be pretty certain that it's going to hit that number by mid-February. So I'll be taking my profits then. Some of you might uh, might be longer than that, which I think is still a good idea. But uh, HMNY, it's kind of like the, the, the bastard kid that, uh, you know, you can't get rid of. But, uh, you know, it's all down the river when... Uh, when needed, no, not a good comparison, but it's 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 definitely not um, something that I want to keep forever. But 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 then again, I can see this doing what Netflix did and going from you know what it is now eight dollars and uh, sixteen cents and going up to like two hundred dollars at some point. But am I ready for that? I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But I wouldn't be surprised if if it did. And there are a lot of naysayers out there, uh, just like someone by the last name Seiler that I will remain first nameless. So anyway, uh, video's gone longer than I thought, but a lot, of, a lot of nuggets of information. So remember to comment, tell me how long it was, was it long enough, was it too long? Uh, like or dislike if you're a hater, uh, subscribe and share it. So hope everybody has a great night. And this is Boxsmith Jim, again, saying to keep on living in abundance.